guys. So today we're going to do more of like a chill style of video. I don't know if you watched the last two weeks or not. I had a lot of fun producing those videos, but they took a lot of work. Um, I spent like 60 hours total on filming and editing both those videos. And I'm honestly just feeling like I want some like one-on-one -on -one vlog time with you guys. And also I'm gonna be doing something new today that I figured we could experience together. So today I'm going to do my very first attempt at making and doing sugar wax. So some of you may know, some of you may not know, I have talked about it now in a few videos, but I used to be a cosmetologist. I'm not familiar with the process of sugaring. So I did a lot of research, well, not really a lot. I kind of just binge watched a lot of this one girl's videos. Um, I wrote down her channel because I figured I was going to completely butcher her name. Um, her channel name is A Between or A Between. Um, I'll write it here on the screen. Also link it down below. Either way, she has like a lot of videos on sugaring. So if there's anything you want to know about sugaring, check out her channel. This video is definitely not the one to check out since we're doing this as a new experiment together. So I have waxed some lips, but I've never waxed my own. Yeah. Okay. So I didn't mention that we're going to be waxing my lip today. I have had my lip wax, which the very first time was a whole experience. And I definitely should tell you guys this. So back when I was in cosmetology school, this was roughly 10 years ago now. It'll be 10 years. No, it's been nine years. It's been nine years since cosmetology school. The very first time we ever did waxing, we had to do it on each other, which I don't know about you, but when I've never had something done before, the last thing I want is someone that has no experience, but you really don't have that choice in cosmetology school. I never let anyone um, cut or color my hair though. That's where I drew the line. I had one girl do one side and then the other girl goes to do her side and she pulled the strip wrong. If you don't know what happens when you pull the strip wrong, you actually traumatize the skin. So by pulling it wrong, my lip completely bruised. It doubled in size for about a week. I broke out in some terrible acne slash like ingrown hairs for like a solid month. It sucked. I think the worst part of that experience waxing my lip the first time was the fact I had to go up to people I've never met before and be like, hi, I'm Brie. I'm going to do your hair today. And meanwhile, I had this huge lip and it looked like I had herpes. I did not end up uh, waxing my lip for ooh, probably like three years after that because I was like, uh-uh, you ain't you ain't touching this lip. So it took some convincing from some girls at work, but I trusted all of them. And after that, I think I waxed my lip maybe twice. I don't feel like it's something I really have needed to do until recently. Um, I just turned 28 and with doing so, or I didn't really do it. It just kind of happened. I just turned 28. I've noticed that my lip hair seems to be a little bit more. What's the word here? No noticeable. There we go. Either way. Okay. So I watched a bunch of a between a betweens videos and this seems like really easy. So she has a microwave method. I'm going to be making this sugar into a strip wax, which seems to be the easiest way. And all you need is three ingredients. So you need sugar, lemon juice, and water. Again, watch her videos. If you're wanting to do this, this is more of an experience for myself. I believe it's two parts sugar to one part liquid which is right. I'm going to actually cut her recipe in half. Her recipe says one cup sugar, one fourth lemon juice, one fourth cup water. I'm going to do half that because this is very small real estate and I'm sure I'm still going to have more than I need. But so all we're going to do is put the ingredients in this glass measuring cup and put it in the microwave for three and a half minutes. So let's do that. And here, let me get you guys an angle you can potentially see. So uh, you're gonna see a little hack I have. So I film with my phone and sometimes if I need to see what the screen looks like, I will put a mirror behind it since I don't have a viewfinder. And speaking of, I think phone companies should take note. I think it'd be great if somehow they could figure out how to be able just to flip up the screen for people that do use their phones for recording. I just it'd be nice. Okay. So you guys can see now we are going to be using half a cup of sugar. Um, she did say you can use any type of sugar other than coconut sugar. She has a list of everything you can use as far as sugars and acids and whatnot goes. So half a cup of sugar. 
And then we are going to be doing an eighth of a cup of lemon juice and then an eighth of a cup of water. Okay. <laughs> this is new to me. I have never used this one before, but I noticed when I was grocery shopping, I was like, ooh, I should buy the biggest one they have, you know, because I'm not trying to grocery shop all that often right now. And this was the one they had. Mm. Yum, smells delicious. <laughs> Stop selling the lemons, Brie. Speaking of lemons, if you live in 6D garden area, do you have a lemon tree? If you do, let me know. And what do you do for winter time? Because I'm curious, I would love to have some type of citrus. So while I'm mixing this, we could talk about garden things, I guess. Fall garden has been good and bad. I recently just, um, okay, you, you poured it. I'm going to actually lift this up a little bit because it's really hard for, actually, I'm just gonna move you guys back to where you were. See, this is, this is why I don't do this, guys. But if you like my random jambles of vlogging, give this video a thumbs up and maybe, maybe I'll do more. What was I talking about? See, it's gonna come to me eventually. Oh, I mentioned, that was it. I was gonna talk to you guys about <laughs> garden stuff while I finish uh, mixing. As far as the fall garden goes, um, it's been going fairly well. Broccoli heads are starting to form, which is really cool. And also I have two cabbages that really look good. One cabbage looks great. But one thing I've noticed about the fall space is when we designed the fall space originally, it got more sun in the summertime. So my garden is actually a west facing garden as far as like the coordinates go. And the best facing garden you can have is south, which we do get a lot of southern exposure with the garden, but we have a big tree. And this tree blocks a lot of the sun during the fall. And I noticed that a handful of the broccolis, a handful of the cabbages, just really aren't getting bigger and it's because of the light obviously but that space during the summer gets a lot of sun so I think I'm gonna mix a few things up for for next year either way um, I still have spinach carrots I did rip out all the remaining uh, iceberg lettuce so I didn't get any iceberg lettuce heads unfortunately a lot of them ended up bolting again we've had some really weird warm weather and speaking of this will be the last thing and then we'll keep on with this so garlic all of my garlic has sprouted now um i'll get a video clip and i'll post it so i've seen people that have their garlic sprout before and after garlic again like i said in my garlic garlic video oh my gosh where's my water see i'm getting parched um garlic is just kind of all over the place for what people say mine's sprouting because it's been warm obviously but i think it's gonna be okay uh make sure if you're not subscribed to subscribe because we won't know how it really um, has done until about end of June, beginning of July anyway. When you mix everything up, it looks like this here. We are going to microwave this for three and a half minutes and the sugar should change colors and that's when we know we should be good to go. So once this sugar wax <clears throat> is out of the microwave, I believe we have to let it sit until it kind of cools down to skin temp and then we're gonna be able to use it. So we might have like a brief delay Wax is done, at least I think it's done. So voila, we now have this beautiful color change, which ends up being a chemical reaction. So for the type of sugar wax we need, I have this little handy dandy candy thermometer. This needs to be around 230 to 235 degrees okay so this has stopped at 200 i'm gonna just add an extra probably like 30 ish seconds oh that's actually not as hot as i thought all right so we just got it back out and that definitely looks a little bit darker to me this time let's see if we are let's see if we're ready so this is good to go we are going to or i keep saying we and I say we because we're doing this together, guys, but really I'm doing it by myself. My my mirror setup fell again. This is not what I wanted. I wanted this. All right, so we are going to pour it in this 
So you want this to still be warm when you do the waxing, but obviously not hot. We're not trying to burn our skin today. One thing that is actually, I should do that once the water is on running because I'm sure you guys could hear that water. One thing that's really cool about a uh, sugar wax that I did not know is if like, say I chicken out and I don't want to commit, I could easily just put water on the wax and it will just dissolve, which is really cool. So if you decide to do this yourself and you're like, whoa, no, I just, I can't do it. You can just wipe it clean. Unlike traditional wax, you just gotta be bold and do it. So I'm gonna let this cool off. I'm sure this is gonna take probably like close to an hour to cool off. So I will just catch you guys here in a little bit. All right, so I saved you guys um, the trouble of me washing my face and making sure everything was clean. So it's time, um, this should be cool enough. I actually had to microwave this for an extra 10 seconds uh, just to re get it warm. It actually cooled down a little bit quicker than I thought. Um, next thing I need to do before I do any waxing is I need to powder this area. So if you have like any type of um, oil on your skin, the sugar just won't stick. So I have arrowroot powder here. You can use, I believe, baby powder, arrowroot powder, or cornstarch. That's what arrowroot looks like if you've never seen it before. Um, and then I'm just going to put this powder all over my upper lip. As soon as I pull the strip, I'm going to press firmly on my skin. So let's see here. We're gonna get a little bit on, ooh, I used to actually have like a dispose area. So one second. So when I used to wax people's lips and brows and stuff for a living, I would create such a mess. So I am just going to apply some of the wax to the outer corner first. So the outer corner kind of grows a little bit more diagonal and the middle grows a little bit more down. So with doing that, you wanna make sure you're pulling in the right direction. So we're gonna do the sides first and we are gonna actually go against the hair. Oh, this makes me so nervous. Ugh. Smells sweet though, so I'll give it that. All right, now we're just gonna take a wax strip and what we are going, ooh, 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 ooh. I am completely leaking here. Okay, <laughs> not leaking, uh, falling. So we're going to apply the wax strip and then pull, go in the direction of the hair growth. So we're gonna put this on. We're gonna hold the skin tight. And all right guys, one, two, and three. That's actually not as bad. That is not as bad as regular wax. Did I get hair? I got hair. All right, well, I do know wax or sugar waxing is supposed to be a little bit more gentle. So wow, I'm not mad at this. Okay. Man, I am I'm really impressed by this. I actually might end up uh letting my leg hair grow out a little bit and trying this on my legs because this would be I feel like this would be really nice that much okay do, 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 do. again great angle guys all right so now that I look completely ridiculous I can give my verdict um I like this a lot I'm gonna save the rest of this wax I might attempt to do this on my legs um but I really like it so one thing I didn't mention in in the beginning to where I feel like it did hurt a lot less is because the sugar wax only grabs on to the hair unlike traditional wax and traditional wax actually will grab the skin and the hair and I think that's honestly well it explains why um, traditional waxing hurts so much more than this and I like that this is a really easy DIY that I can do whenever I want I know I look ridiculous I'm gonna go ahead and get off camera um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's little vlog if you did make sure to give this video a thumbs up leave me a comment below if you have any questions but again go check out a between a between's videos um, I'm sure she could answer your questions ten times more if you have a question on this subject but either way make sure you're subscribed if you're not and I will see you guys all next time bye